Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you a first impressions on the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment, which looks like this. Kate Somerville very generously sent this over as part of PR a long, long time ago. And I have been putting this first impressions off just because my skin tends to be a little sensitive to physical exfoliants. Um, but I decided to give it a shot today. I am not getting paid to share my thoughts and opinions with you on this product today. If you are new here, my name is Nadia and I am a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. Kate Somerville describes this as an exfoliating scrub that smooths texture and pours in two minutes as it prepares the skin to better absorb the rest of your skincare routine. This is inspired by a product used in her clinic. I think she has two clinics, one in the West Coast and one in the East Coast. You can find this product at katesomerville.com and sephora.com and Ulta. Dot com. I will link the product down below in case you are interested in adding this to your collection. This product is sold in three different sizes. You have a 0.5 ounce unit which retails for $28 and we have a 2 ounce unit that retails for $98 and you have a 5 ounce unit that retails for $205. I personally don't think I would pick up a 5 ounce unit of a physical exfoliant because my skin is very sensitive to physical exfoliation so I typically just use physical exfoliants once perhaps twice a week if my skin really does enjoy it. Let's talk about some ingredients here. This does include, this scrub does include lactic acid, salicylic acid, and retinal palmitate. Lactic acid here exfoliates the skin at the surface level. I love that lactic acid promotes an even tone, it exfoliates, and it also hydrates the skin. Salicylic acid is an oil-loving acid that exfoliates deep inside your pores to minimize breakouts, decongest, and minimize blackheads. Retinal palmitate here is naturally found in your skin. This works as an antioxidant that helps to minimize the signs of aging. This product also contains some ingredients that my skin personally is not very fond of, such as denatured alcohol. Um, this personally irritates my skin. Lavender is also included within this formula and it literally gives my skin a rash. We also see limonene linalool that I often see in citrus smelling products, but my skin does not not react badly at all to these ingredients. We also see papaya enzymes, which are great, great for sensitive skin, but it can potentially aggravate some. So we will see how my skin does with this product two to three days after use. Um, I will be sure to pin a comment down below in case my skin does react negatively to this product. If it does react positively, I will also pin a comment down below for you all if you are curious um, or looking for an update on this product. So I did use this before applying a full face of makeup. Kate Somerville suggests that you use this twice per week. You want to apply a thin even layer to wet skin. You want to massage this over the skin for 30 seconds and leave over the skin for up to two minutes. You then want to rinse and pat dry. You may experience a tingle, a slight flushing that should calm after use. If you've got sensitive skin, leave over the skin for less than one minute. I cannot stress this enough. 
When using physical exfoliants, do avoid being overly aggressive and applying too much pressure. You want to be gentle. Here, I applied a normal amount of pressure along the forehead and chin, and I barely worked the product over the cheeks as that is an incredibly sensitive area on my skin when it regards physical exfoliants. Chemical exfoliants, my skin tolerates those very, very well. Physical exfoliants, not so much. I did not perform a patch test, but I definitely suggest you perform a patch test to see if an ingredient here um, has perhaps triggered a response on your skin before. I have been using the Exfolicate Body for months, and I actually love that product. And I haven't had a reaction to it, so I'm assuming that I won't have an issue here unless I just apply too much pressure as I work this scrub over the skin. As far as texture, this is definitely not as gritty as Exfolicate exfoliate body, but I can definitely feel um, the physical exfoliants. And there is a scent. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it is citrusy, like limonene or linalool, but it does have kind of like a menthol-y, citrus-like scent to it. And the scent does linger as the product sits over the skin. There is a change in color as you work this over the skin, and there is a slight thickness to the formula. Um, I think that if perhaps my skin were a little bit more damp, I wouldn't really notice the thickness here. Um, I did feel a tingle over the lip chin and temples and this was spicy over the skin even after removal with uh, my face halo and I felt that this was easy to remove at least the physical exfoliants with a face halo but my skin still felt active so I walked to the sink and rinsed my skin that definitely helped to further calm and soothe my skin this was still active when I removed it with the face halo slight flushing did occur along the forehead and in some areas of the chin as you can see um, again, I did have to walk to the sink to rinse and calm the tingle. I definitely enjoyed how much smoother my skin felt. This helped to get rid of some of the texture along my chin, forehead, and cheeks. And I did not, again, apply too much pressure to the cheek area. My cycle was really, really rough this month, so I had loads of hormonal breakouts, um, as you can see along my chin. But I will say that with using the Glow Recipe Vitamin C Serum and a new Murad product that I hope to uh, review here uh, for you all soon. I feel like that helped to minimize the post-inflammation hyperpigmentation along my chin. However, I did still experience texture and I did still experience some post-inflammation hyperpigmentation, but I feel like using those two products um, helped to heal the breakout faster and minimize the severity of my post-inflammation hyperpigmentation. I will link the uh, video review to the Glow Recipe Vitamin C Serum up above in case you're interested. My skin definitely calmed down about four to five minutes after rinsing my skin. I definitely suggest that you use something like the face halo to remove that the physical exfoliants um, and then rinse your skin. That will definitely facilitate the removal pro process of this product and the rinsing will definitely calm the skin. Okay, so after using this product, I used the Glow Recipe Plump Plump Hyaluronic Acid uh, Serum and I used the Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum. Um, I definitely wanted to go in with something soothing and calming to perhaps minimize the potential of irritation or a rash. So far I am not noticing anything like kind of bubbling up 
underneath the makeup today. I think that those dealing with textured skin, congested skin, perhaps enlarged pores, dull, lackluster skin would benefit from this product. Also, if you feel as if your serums or your moisturizers aren't working as they initially did um, or as they should, I think it's time for you to add a scrub to your skincare routine. Personally, I can only see myself using this one time per week and Kate suggests that you use this once to twice per week. Perhaps if my skin develops um, or is okay with using this twice a week, I would, um, but I don't typically reach for scrubs more than once a week, like I mentioned, unless my skin really, really enjoys them. Similar to the Ula Enriksen uh, Lemonade Scrub, I will link my review to that up above. I still love that serum. I'm um, sorry, that scrub. I look, like how it just polishes the skin and it improves texture and pores without being so spicy like this product. I would recommend this to anyone with resilient skin. Someone that does a very, very well with physical exfoliants who is dealing with textured skin, dead cellular debris, dull skin, and congested pores. I will say that also the pores along my nose looked a lot smaller and appeared to be less congested and I really enjoyed the difference that it made here along my chin and how it removed just kind of like that dry um, skin here along the areas where I'd experienced breakouts. As of right now, I am actually rating this a 7.5 out of 10. I am deducting one point for drying alcohol. However, I do see some fatty alcohols in this formula. I am also deducting one and a half points for having more than a handful of poor, sensitizing, irritating kind of fragrant ingredients. And we will see how my skin does after 72 hours though. So again, check that pinned comment. Um, I should also mention that Kate Somerville is cruelty free and I do like the packaging. I will say that I love scrubs that come in a tube. I have seen facial scrubs that come in a jar and that is just not my favorite. Um, so I do enjoy this tube packaging. Um, I'd love to know if you have used the Kate Somerville Exfolicate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. Do let me know in the comments down below. This seems to be a favorite, um, not only in the community, um, but also I've heard some of my clients say that they use this and they love it. Um, so I'd love to know your experience with this product if you have used it. Um, it is important to know that I am one person living a different lifestyle than you in a different climate and in a different region of the world. So my skin can potentially react to products differently. So I definitely love how you all share your experience with all of the products that I have recently been reviewing here on my channel. So that is all I have for you all today. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with me today. Check out some of these videos that are popping right over here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.